North Korea is coming back online this morning after a sweeping internet breakdown in the country. It happened just days after North Korea denied involvement in the Sony Pictures cyber attack. Bob Orr is in Washington, where U.S. officials are keeping quiet about the internet outage. Bob, good morning. Good morning. Well, there are unsubstantiated claims this morning from at least two hacker groups taking credit for that North Korean internet outage. There's no proof yet the blackout was even caused by a cyber strike. But it did come as North Korea was threatening new attacks against U.S. targets, including the Pentagon and the White House. That profile, that, that series of events, I haven't ever seen in North Korea before. Cyber analyst Doug Midori says after days of spotty internet service, Monday's outage completely cut off North Korea's online access to the rest of the world. There would be periods of time it was out for an hour or more, and then finally uh, just completely went offline. You want us to assassinate the leader of North Korea? Yes. The blackout came just days after the FBI blamed North Korea for a devastating hack on Sony Pictures, which caused the studio to pull the plug on the interview. A slapstick film about the assassination of North Korea's leader. President Obama promised North Korea would pay some proportional price. We will respond. Uh, we will respond proportionally and we'll respond uh, in a place and time uh, and manner that we choose. So Monday's blackout in North Korea fueled speculation the outage may have been retaliation by the U.S. or an intermediary like China. Uh, the benign explanation is that the router was having a software malfunction. But given Recent events and the context this occurs in, uh, one has to consider the possibility that there is uh, uh, that they were under some sort of an attack. But U.S. officials had no comment on the outage and remained cryptic about U.S. plans to avenge the Sony attack. We aren't going to discuss, you know, publicly operational details about the possible response options, except to say that some will be seen, some may not be seen. Now, another possible explanation for that outage is that North Korea may have shut down its own network. That would be an extreme way of controlling information seen by the nation's citizens. It would also possibly block an incoming cyber attack by the U.S. or another uh, opponent. Anthony? Bob Orr. Thanks, Bob.